What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be running part one of four of our annual loan reports this time for the 2022-2023 season. Before I do crack on with this video make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then do subscribe to my channel. Social media links are in the description below and slide across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries do leave a thumbs up as well if you are enjoying the content 100 likes is the aim also don't forget as well to let me know your thoughts in the comments below tiktok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there and finally do go and check out today's video sponsor gt player a link to them is in the description they're offering code jsgc5 which will give you five percent off all chairs on their website they very kindly sent me this limited edition Manchester City chair that you've seen feature in a lot of the recent JSGC videos do go check them out that would be much appreciated so loan report number one we're going to be speaking today about Joshua Wilson Esprand, uh, Liam Dillap, Callum Doyle, Yangle Herrera and Taylor Harwood Bellis so we're going to start off first by speaking about Joshua Wilson Esprand. now he joined Coventry City back in January he's a 20 year old fullback plays as a left back uh, he started just 15% of games since joining Coventry City making 8 appearances with no goals uh, and no assists he's pretty much been utilised as a squad player and I do feel like uh, he, for his development will need a full season out on loan somewhere obviously to a club that need a left back who's going to be starting him in most of their games. I do feel like a good season of championship football with him getting regular first team minutes and starting games would do Joshua Wilson S brand the world of good. He's contracted at Manchester City until 2027 and I can see us loaning him out again uh, next summer. Now Liam Dillap, he spent two spells out on loan firstly joined Stoke City in the summer recalled by Manchester City in the January transfer window and then loaned back out to the championship this time to Preston North End so firstly with Stoke made 23 appearances three goals no assists in the championship made a lot of his appearances coming off the bench uh, and when he was starting games he was being subbed off and he was doing 60-70 minutes and he was getting a little bit frustrated by that he wanted to be the main man he wanted to be to be starting every single game and so he left Stoke City and City loaned him out to Preston North End uh, instead since joining them has made nine appearances no goals no assists he's even started to feature for the Preston North End under 23 side bagging in goals for them but he has really struggled to step up at the championship level a really good uh, season here for Liam Delap in terms of a learning experience but the question has to be asked now what is next for Liam Delap? Another loan? Which division would he go to and where? Would it be League One? Lower Championship? What I do know is Liam Delap needs to find his feet and build from there. Even if that means dropping into League One, if he's starting 46 games in League One and he's grabbing 20, 25 goals, then there'll be Championship teams really interested in Liam Delap in making that step. So he needs to walk here before he can run. Plenty of time still left on his City contract. Got a contract until 2026. So for City, needs to be finding a club where he is 100% going to be starting them games if he can keep himself injury-free, which this season he has. Now moving on, Callum Doyle. He also joined Coventry City, like Joshua Wilson Esprin. However, Callum Doyle joined in the summer rather than in the winter. He's a 19-year-old centre-back. Now, he's made 33 appearances in the Championship. No goals, but one assist. Started 82% of games and uh, featured in 79% of all available minutes in the Championship. He's having a really good season and he's playing really well, which is excellent to see. Now, Callum's contracted at City until 2024, so the question was will be asked here of City are we going to sell him this summer are we going to offer him a new contract or are we going to loan him out and let his contract expire next summer we'll see what I will say is in terms of Callum Doyle's future got a big summer coming up to get that sorted but whilst he's been out at Coventry City has had a fantastic season now moving on to Yangle Herrera he's spent the season out on loan in Spain again this time to Girona who got promoted to La Liga uh, last season so the 25 year old Venezuelan uh, midfielder he's made 16 appearances 
Got two assists, got two goals in La Liga. Started 38% of games with Girona, featuring in 33% of all available minutes in La Liga. He did miss three games uh, through injury, but doesn't seem to be doing as well as normal. When we speak about Yangel Herrera, we speak about a player valued at 10 15 million pounds gone to La Liga over the last couple of seasons and done really well yeah he's not got that many minutes he hasn't picked up that many injuries this is very much a case of Girona aren't utilizing Yangle Herrera now Herrera's contract with City is up in 2024 and to me more than ever he needs a permanent move this summer he should have been sold two seasons ago when City had him at his top value ever since then summer upon summer contract comes down and down to a point where this summer he's got just one year left on his contract his value now isn't anywhere near as high as what it was a couple of seasons ago. He was doing really well over the last couple of seasons in La Liga. Comes to this season, doesn't get utilised by Girona. It's the wrong loan move here by Manchester City, in my opinion. It's not the first time I'm going to be speaking about players being sent from City to Girona and not being utilised by them. I think City got this one wrong, in my opinion. Now, moving on to the final player I want to speak about is Taylor Harwood Bellis. Made 26 appearances for Burnley in the Championship. Two assists, one goal for Vincent Company's boys. Interest from Burnley right now to sign Taylor on a permanent basis for next season. Burnley will be playing in the Premier League next season. If they can sort their finances out, and a, uh, obviously a promotion to the Premier League will really help in uh, terms of their finances, uh, then if a good enough offer comes in for, for me, I would be selling Taylor Harwood Bellis on a permanent basis, and I'd be including an affordable buyback clause. Now, he started 70% of all games in the starting eleven. For Burnley, featured in 70% of all available minutes in the Championship as well. He really suits their system. He's doing really well. Uh, his contract again up in 2024. So we're not going to be able to utilise here unless we get him on a new deal. Uh, his maximum value. And I imagine if there is genuine permanent interest from Burnley, I imagine Taylor will probably want to make that step up to the Premier League and playing on a regular basis. He's done really well with them so far. The only problem he's had has been an injury which is uh, sustained back in early January. It's kept him out right up until this point in the season. He is expected to return back to first team training though after the international break. Uh, he's had a foot injury so uh, hopefully fully over that and can help Burnley get over the line and achieve their aim of getting back to the Premier League and who knows what the future does hold for Taylor Harwood Bellis. Might City want to put him on a new contract, maybe bring him into the first team next season and have him train around the first team squad, give him pre-season. Who knows? Would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. So there we go. That has been Loan Report number one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up. 100 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well. Also, don't forget as well to subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Also, don't forget as well to go and check out my social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on that. And finally, I'd say a big thank you to GT Player for sponsoring today's video. see you all again tomorrow for Manchester City loan report number two of four I've been JSGC thank you everyone for watching hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now